Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about primary key and foreign key relationship in MySQL database. So, this is the important point that I already written. So, I tell the first point is a foreign key in one table points to a primary key in another table. So, I tell EMP, EMP underscore ID is the primary key and DPT, DPT underscore ID is the primary key. So, I tell a foreign key. So, this is the foreign key uh, because I tell EMP underscore ID add here and the same name add here in emp or table emp underscore id and the values are matching value so that add here foreign key points to to a primary key another table so this is the foreign key add here fk and add here this points to a uh, primary key of another table so this this is the most one important point a foreign key one table points to a primary key another table and here a foreign key can have a different name so emp underscore id you can give any other name also so it's optional and here the primary key is used to a foreign key is known as parent key so this is called emp underscore id called parent key and the table where primary key is from it's uh, known as parent key so this table called prime uh, parent table and this table called chai table and here a uh, foreign key values can be a null so add here you can in foreign key or uh, you can enter the value null duplicate value you can enter but one condition is that your one two three is there and here you can enter duplicate value one and two and three and you can enter null also but if you enter add here four so four is not in there so definitely that so if you enter add your four in child table, so definitely that give foreign key violation. So this is the important point about primary key and foreign key. Here after I'm going to show you one example of a primary key and foreign key in MySQL. Uh, so add your this is the console. So add your uh, two ways to show you a uh, primary key and foreign key relationship. So first I'm going to show you the primary key and foreign key relationship by graphically. So at I am going to create the table. So right click here uh, in the table and hereafter go to create table. So create table, add here, give the table name. So at I am giving the table name EMP and hereafter go to this arrow and hereafter add some column. So the first column I am going to add here EMP ID. So this should be integer tab and your pk primary key and that not map. Here after let's uh, uh, enter name column. So this is the vacuum and can be null and here after country. So country should be vacuum and that should be null. So this is not required. So let's uh, get it selected. Now here after this added. Now here after click on apply. So create table, so this table or uh, query generated. Now here after click on apply and here after finished. So see at here EMP table, it's generated. Now here after I'm going to enter some records inside EMP. So from here you can directly insert. So the first is triple one and your name or some country three term. And here after one one two. So here uh, going to into country France and sorry uh, country France and here giving the name Mary and one more value 113 and uh, here I'm going to give name Sam and the name London. So this is the value. So here after click on apply. So this is the insert operation is going on. So this value is inserted here. Now here after let's create one more table. And uh, here giving the table name DPT. And here after click on arrow. And here let's enter the column. So first column here I'm going to enter dpt id and this should be integer and primary key. Now here after dname 
or DPT name and this will be vacuum and here after EMP ID so this must be integer time integer time now here after let's make a foreign key and primary key relationship so here after go to foreign key and here you know give the key name so I'm giving at here EMP ID foreign key name here after so select at here or table so here dwt underscore emp and here uh, select this one and here emp add select it now here after click on apply so see at here create table so this table create our uh, dpt id not null emp uh, this is the worker emp here primary key dpt id and constant point key employee id reference here EMP EMP ID so it's fine here is the query so that is generated by MySQL now let's click on apply so no error found here after click on finish now here after let's insert the record inside of DPT so at here in EMP so this is the record 11111112113 so when you enter 112 or triple one or triple one add your dnm it and your emp id so a one one triple one add here i am giving the dpt id nine zero one so emp id add here this is the common column between emp and dpt so this is the common column so suppose if you enter this value so no error found And here after 9002 and here I am going to enter science and here 112 so add here 9003 and here this is HO and here 113 and here 9004 so here 9004 here I am going to enter IT again and here going to enter 115 or 116 let's enter click on apply so this value is going to insert click on apply so at a time getting the error masses cannot add so what value cannot add 116 because at here the problem is uh, operation failed and your foreign key so this uh, because of uh, foreign key and primary key relationship constant so at your foreign key constant fail cannot add update child so uh, uh, foreign key constant fine now also add here uh, 116 emp underscore 116 i'm trying to enter at your dpt table so this uh, value 116 not in emp so that here i'm getting the error masses cannot add update child from and a foreign key constant fine. so this is the reason so if you try to enter at here 113 so add here a foreign key can be a duplicate value so it will accept now click on apply so no error here so this value inserted so this the things so whatever emp id value so this value you can enter in the child table so this is the things about primary key and foreign key so at here in dpt uh, you can enter null value also so let's enter 9005 and here giving our cells and let's enter null so you can enter null also so let's click on apply here yeah, apply so see at your successful so that means you can enter uh, in foreign key column or uh, duplicate value as well as null value so here this is the way we can create the tables of primary key and foreign key. Now here after I am going to show you how to create the relationship uh, between primary key and foreign key by using query. So this is the uh, uh, query that I already written uh, because add here to save some time. So add here create table em employee and here emp underscore id. So this is the primary key and here. E name address here yeah, this is the worker 
and you have to create a department table and your dpt id is the primary key so this is the primary key and your amp id so this is the foreign key foreign key and your amp id so this is the integer term and reference employee so this reference employee table and amp ID. so let's click on add here or execute so create table so it's created here now here after let's create department table so here department table both are created now here after replace so see at your department and employee or both here it's now so here after let's enter records inside department so two ways to enter records by clicking here select or also you should write at here insert statement insert enter so first i'm going to enter in employee table values employee here after write values and let's skip the value so first value add here let's see the columns so here emp id so first is let's enter at here one and give the name at here sam so this is a single code or sam here after address or giving a sweater and let's close by single cut. Now let's execute this uh, query. So see I inserted one value. Now here after let's enter here and here stamp one and give the uh, address a state and one. So this is the records I'm going to to enter in parent table and here after or uh, three and here or sign two and here three to three so three or uh, rows I inserted now here after let's uh, enter the value in department so department here department uh, table So at here I'm giving the value thousand one and here giving at here or uh, so in department you get the column at here dpt id or thousand one or dpt at your name or department name id and here the country I'm giving at your us now let's so uh, execute this query so this is insert into a statement to so add here one more thing or uh, say done so add your uh, first is department id one add your name and here we have to give our uh, employee id so employee id must be one two three so let's enter at here so this is inserted and here one zero two and here, there, and this time going to enter at your cells. So here, let's insert. So inserted at here. So suppose if I enter at here five, and here this is four, and here this is going to enter at here. Let's execute that one. So I am getting the error message at here. Or uh, error message is uh, so at here cannot add update child row or foreign key constant field. So when I am trying to intro this value uh, 1004 HR 5. So this value I did not enter at employee. So at here in employee I enter 1. Or this value 1 and here 3 or 1 to 3 value I enter so this value I did not enter at here 5 so that here I am getting the error message 
uh, foreign key relationship form. So if you enter at your two three or null value, so that's that will be accepted. So let's enter at your three. So that value will accept. So see at your this value is inserted. So this is about primary key and foreign key at your so EMP so EMP table and your EMP ID. So this is the common or uh, column between or uh, two table EMP and DVD and here whatever the value 1 to 3 so you can enter 1, one to 3 and that can be a duplicate but uh, if value is not present in parent or uh, uh, table so you cannot enter that value so if you are trying to enter so you get the error message error message so uh, a uh, foreign key constant fail and this is the important point right now uh, about primary key and foreign key and uh, uh, generally foreign key is used to uh, link the two tables so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next time thank you